Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I'm going to be showing you the difference between the PS5 and the Xbox Series X. Basically, you may have heard that both of these consoles are coming in November of 2020, and you may not know which one to buy. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you which one, which console is best for you. So yeah, let's get into it. First up, we have the Xbox Series X. Now this actually looks cool, it's a slim design, and it has like green stuff here, I don't know what that is, but there's a CD player as well, and it's in all black. This, all, this one will cost $500, the Xbox Series X, 500 bucks. You can also lease the console and get 24 months of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, starting at 35 bucks a month, I think for 24 months, so, yeah. The Xbox Series S, I'm also going to be uploading a video today about that, so go check that out as well. But I, I searched up the Xbox Series X release date, and they wouldn't tell me. But the Xbox Series S is also coming alongside with the Xbox Series X. They're both coming on November 10th, but pre-orders will start on 22nd of September. So, on 22nd of September, you can pre-order the thing, and then you can get it on the 10th. Next up we have the PS5. Now, I don't really know what to say about the design. You know, it's it's different than a PlayStation would kind of design their console. This is also coming at 500 bucks. So, <laughs> it's going to be very hard to decide which one is best for you. But that's what this video is about. This is also coming in the 13th of November. So, this is coming on the 10th. This is coming on the 13th. So, like, you'll see, it's, it's, it's gonna go hand in hand, you know, which one is, which one to buy. And now I'm gonna show you some facts about them. So, basically, I don't really know too many big words like the, I don't even know what this is, IO throughput, memory bandwidth, I'm gonna, I'm, but I'm gonna explain all of this for you, you know, so which one is better. So basically, the CPU is 8 core at 3.5 gigahertz and this is at 3.8 gigahertz like the computer programming unit speed or something like that the gpu is 2.3 and this is 1.8 so yeah the memory is the same 16 gb 16 gb memory bandwidth is 4 448 gb per second this memory bandwidth is 336 gb per second so basically the ps5 the loading time is faster, like it goes 4.48 GB per second, so it loads faster than the Xbox will. The internal storage is not the same, it's 825 GB for the PS5 and 1 terabyte for the Xbox, so that's, that's insane. Like, the Xbox will have more storage than the PS5. Um, the expendable slot and explainable storage, it's kind of the same thing. Um, and this also has 4K UHD Blu-ray drive, same as this, so you can watch movies in 4K if you have the Blu-ray disc. You can just insert it there. All right, now we're gonna see some more facts. Um, the, so the PS5 can push through data at 5.5 GB per second. The Xbox can do it at 2.4 GB per second, so basically, the PS5 will load faster than the Xbox, but only a tad, not, not too fast. Um, they both will have 16 GB of memory to support 4K and 8K resolution gaming. So, both of the consoles are evenly matched elsewhere, making it hard for you to decide which one is best for you. So that's what this video is about. And I'm also going to be showing you... I think yeah, this is the same thing as well, yeah. Now we're going on the actual Xbox website and, you know, seeing why you pick Xbox Series X. Alright, let's get into it. Okay, what is it? The world's most powerful console. Okay, Microsoft, okay. They're claiming that it's a powerful console. And, you know, I'll, I'll, I will probably get both of these. No, I, I don't think I have too much money, but 
Uh, I'll probably get the Xbox Series X or the PS5. I'll get one of them, and then I'll test it out, and I'll record some clips on it, and I'll show you guys. So you guys do know it's pre-order on September 22nd, available on November 10th. We're going to play a video, and you guys can go on the Xbox website and see the video. I'm not going to play the full video because it may get copyrighted, but yeah. Well, okay. The design looks cool. The Xbox logo looks cool. I still wonder though, what is the green stuff? I'm confused. Xbox Series X. Power your dreams. Holiday 2020. Xbox logo. Okay. I don't really know what that is, but whatever. We can. How do you X that? Okay, we're just gonna reload the page then, I guess. Okay. This actually looks cool, you know? It's, it doesn't look too bad. What can you. Expect from the next generation of gaming, a letter by Phil Spencer, the head of Xbox. Okay, the future of gaming has never been more inspiring, creativity is flourishing. Okay, so the, the cloud provides a massive opportunity to stream. Okay, so I think streaming, you can stream, the resolution is better. So, you, like, quality is better. Whoa, okay, okay, so the thing on top is the fan. Okay, that's why there's holes in green stuff. Okay. Whoa, all right, Xbox. That looks sick. Here, I'm gonna replay that. You guys can replay that slow motion on the video. Okay, so basically, yeah. But that actually looks cool, you know what I mean? Here, let's replay that. So they move, they tilt the Xbox, and that's the logo. And okay, that that looks so cool. All right. So the it's designed for speed and performance. So there's one terabyte of deep software integration for rich and more dynamic living worlds, unlike anything ever seen before. And gamers will experience more time playing and less time waiting as loading times will be greatly decreased thanks to the processing power of Xbox Series X. That's something that I'm hyped for. The loading time is slower. Okay, whatever. Um, quick resume enables players to streamlessly switch between multiple tiles and resumes instantly where you left off. Okay, that's pretty cool. Like if you pause the game, you can, re you can resume it. Fast. Xbox Series X is the most powerful console ever by Microsoft. So they're not claiming it's the most powerful console in the world. It's our most powerful console ever. All right. There's a new chip. Twelve teraflops. Sounds like belly flops. What? I don't even know. Okay. There's more power. Okay. You, what you need to know is there's more processing power and more compatibility in mind for four generations of games. That's insane. Okay, so it's 4K gaming and 8K ready. Oh, I don't know what ready is, but I think you can up to 120 FPS. Okay, that's actually good. I think most PCs have 120 FPS, but this is the first time I've heard in a console. One terabyte of custom SSD storage, so that's good. Mm. Delivering unparalleled graphical fidelity. There's three airflow channels. Evenly distribute the temperatures generated by the internal components, keeping the console cool and quiet. Okay, so when it heats up, it won't like heat heat up. It, it'll, it'll, there's air th to flow. That's a cool diagram. There's air flows in and out here. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, there's split motherboard. First time ever on a console, an innovative split motherboard keeps the Xbox. Okay, so 
there's more power and it's kind of cool. So you can see how the pyre power displays there. That looks pretty cool. Uh, there's a heat sink, so it's a non-electric passive chemical component. Okay, so it's basically cooling. The cooling is better. Vapor chamber, core memory. Oh, quiet whisper per fan. So that's good. That's actually a good thing. So it it keeps the Xbox quiet while it's, without disturbing your gameplay. That's good. That's good. I'm excited for that. More storage. Okay, games games play is even better. So the frame rate is 120 FPS, so it's really good. Now I want I want to see what games are actually on here. Okay, uh, okay. So there's Halo, Fable, Forza, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and Destiny 2 Beyond Light. All right, all right. Avowed, Crossfire, Stalker 2, Warhammer, 40,000 Dark Tide. Um, if you guys don't know, I've actually played, I think, which Warhammer was it? I don't remember. I, ha I have a PC here. I think it was Warhammer, 40,000 Freeblade. Yeah, that's what it was. So, okay, well, that was an accident. I didn't mean to do that. But I played the Warhammer, 40,000 Freeblade. So if you guys want to see that gameplay, um, just check the video down below. Alright. The Medium. Watch Dogs Legion. Okay, there's a new wireless controller. So there's a, okay, there's a hybrid, there's a hybrid D-pad. There's, tar uh, there's more grip. And, okay, so you can switch, so you can, like, connect it to your PC. You can actually connect it to your iPhone or your Android. And you can play so that's actually cool. All right, it definitely looks cool. We need to try this out. I actually want to see what games they have. Do they only have what? Are these the only games they have? I guess th those are the only games they have. Now we're moving on to the PS Five. All right. And I'm going to go through this a little quickly because I know this is already 12 minutes long. Uh, okay, so there's a digital edition and there's a PS5. There's two of them. Okay, okay. It has no limits. This is actually a YouTube video. So I'm, I'm not going to go through. The, okay. What just happened? You have to reload the page again. Yeah. I'm not going to go through this because uh, this video may get copyrighted. So I'm not going to actually go through that. Okay, so, okay, so they're giving all of this, they're giving them like a monitor, they're giving headphones, they're giving two controllers, a remote, that's insane, okay, there's lightning speed, okay, so install PS5 games, there's maximized play session, it's cool, this is also 4K TV gaming, 8K outputs, same as this one, 120 FPS, Okay, it's the same. It's the same thing. Okay. Okay, there's more games. All right, let's see. Mar Marvel Spider-Man. I don't know a lot of people are hyped for that. Miles Morales. Horizon Forbidden West. Ratchet and Clank. Rift Apart. Gran Turismo. Returnal. Sackboy Big Adventure. Okay. I think Miles Morales was the only good one. Okay, there's more. The be audio is better. DualSense wireless controller built for PS5. Haptic feedback. Okay, so like it vibrates and stuff. Um, adaptive triggers. Is that it? That's it. Okay. I want to see what games they have. Okay, there's Ratchet and Clank, Gran Turismo, Demon Souls, Destruction All Stars. Okay, they have actual games. Okay. Okay, they have Grand Theft Auto 5. All right. Let Let's see what games people people and me will actually like it so i'm really hyped for, okay uh i think the miles morales would be pretty cool nba 2k21 is gonna be insane grand theft auto online and grand theft auto 5 would be cool and other than that i don't really know any of these other games uh yeah but i don't think they have the xbox 
Here, I'm, I'm gonna just check that out really quickly. Xbox X, we're gonna go. Xbox X. Alright, we're gonna hit Xbox X games. Death 32 is coming. I think we already we already know that. Xbox X. Well, we're gonna hit console. Here, just Xbox X. Okay, there we go. There. Hit games. Wait. Because it, I don't think it's true that they only have like these many games. They have Halo that I think. Okay, well, let's go do the same thing for Xbox. So Halo is pretty cool. I think Forza might be good. Assassin's Creed might be good. Destiny 2 might be good. I don't really know. Um, we'll have to see. Dark Tide. I don't know. I don't really like any of these other games, but. I think the PS5 has more games, or the better games, like, already inbuilt, but the Xbox has, like, a faster console, or they've exaggerated on that, day. like, um, they, we have good thing, we have this better console, faster console, it's, so, I think you've discovered which one that you're gonna buy, I think I'm probably gonna buy the Xbox, because I'm more of an Xbox person, I may buy the PS5, though I still need to do some more researching. But if you liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. Gaming content, whatever content. And comment down below which one you're going to buy. The Xbox Series X or the PS5. See you in the next video, guys.